Ramses, can you hear me? Yeah, Hello, I can. KPFA LSB regular meeting and executive session for September 15th, 2018. I think while the other people are signing, we can start with with uh, our list. Um, I'm, I'm not sure who's first. On, Carol has the list, though. Who's first? Okay. Uh, thank you for moving us up. Um, I'm here because I support the resolution um, that will be presented later in the agenda to give uh, Julian Assange's plight a voice on KPFA. This is a freedom of the press issue, and I don't see how in good conscience KPFA could refuse to help a fellow journalist. Um, Julian Assange is an award-winning journalist and publisher of WikiLeaks. He's never been charged with any crime, yet he is being held under unlawful detention in the Ecuadorian embassy in London for over six years now. What's more, five months ago, Ecuador under Lenin Moreno sent him into uh, virtual solitary confinement, cutting off his internet and phone, allowing no visitors save one lawyer. Julian Assange is not allowed outside time for fresh air or sunlight. Furthermore, he's being denied medical care by the UK who refuses to assure his safe passage to a hospital. He is now sick and alone, and while some of you may be thinking, good, that's what he deserves, his only crime was publishing verified, leaked information, just as WikiLeaks has done for 12 years, from the Iraq and Af Afghanistan war logs, to collateral murder, to the Russian spy files, to the DNC emails, to Vault 7 exposing CIA privacy technologies, and on and on. WikiLeaks publishing of leaked and secret government materials is no different than what the New York Times or Washington Post does. In fact, thank you. Thank you. There'll be a 90 minutes allocated. I don't think we said that. I'm tired. There'll be 90 seconds per person, not 90 minutes. That would be a bit too long. Okay, and the next person. Hi, um, I'd like to make a public comment about Julian Assange as well. Um, Wicked expander and editor-in-chief editor Julian Assange has been arbitrarily detained more than six years. He has been effectively silenced in the Ecuadorian embassy in London. And this is, this is pressured by United States government. And I would like what Julian Assange has done is that he has shown, as a journalist and a publisher, he has shown fierce commitment to free speech something that makes Mario Savio very, very proud. Because of WikiLeaks, whistleblowers in this country, such as Chosha Manning and Jeremy Herman, was able to exercise free speech that has consequence. I would like KPFA, this public-funded radio station in Berkeley, to stand up for the freedom of Julian Assange and honor the tradition of free speech. Thank you. Thank you. And you can say your name if you wish. We don't mandate that, but you might want to introduce yourself and then say your piece. My name is John. I, w I want to say that uh, um, that basically WikiLeaks is the global fourth estate in many ways. Um, and Nozomi actually... Uh, wrote a book about that. And it's kind of vital at this point that he is, um, that global fourth estate is something that has to be uh, a real, a, a reality in the world. And, and this, uh, with the whole, the, the whole um, world is dependent on that. And every government is challenged because they are control, in control of information. They and corporations are in control of information. And that information now is free, but Julian Assange has to be free before he can move on. It's really vital that, he, that there is a way to support him in that. Okay? Thank you, John. I'm Gordon Wright. I, uh, well, uh, Julian Assange came up, but I, I was here originally to speak uh, in favor of 
the founder of Guns and Butter in my, I guess I'm nervous, I can't, Bonnie Faulkner. Uh, both, those two people, to me, are the two most righteous and truth-seeking and getting below the headlines people that I know. And Bonnie Faulkner was my absolute favorite uh, interviewer on uh, on KPFA. So I'm I'm extremely disappointed, and I don't want to point fingers, but I have to say that I think KPFA has sold out. I think that that somehow uh, the fact that and this, I don't know the dates. But Alex Jones and Bonnie Faulkner were deplatformed, censored the same week. It, it, it indicates an in-tuneness in uh, with, with the people of the deep state. And so I, I, I really love Bonnie Faulkner, and I can't believe that she was deplatformed at the same time her 17 years of work was taken off the... Uh, the KPFA list at the same time. There's some animus in this. And anyway, sorry, but. Hi, I'm Alan Reese. I'd like to reiterate what Gordon just said. Um, but in fact, I think that the station manager, Quincy McCoy, has actually defamed and libeled Bonnie from the things that, that he said. So you could be opening yourselves up to a lawsuit if this is not reversed. You should at least give some due process to Donnie, Bonnie. She's been here. She was here for 17 years. She's raised tens of thousands of dollars for this station, uh, and you never paid her a cent. And she commutes almost 100 miles to get to the station. Um, there's just no due process in this, and you know you could have asked for, asked her to uh, air a second show that would uh, have a guest on it that would would. Uh, I guess it's a Holocaust denial is what the issue is. to have a guest on there to defend um, um, the Holocaust. But that wasn't done. She was just fired summarily. Um, and I'd like to read a, a, a just short little paragraph from Steve Brown. From Steve Brown, who is a former director of Pacifica. In a Kurt Kissoff email to Bonnie Faulkner, McCoy wrote that we cannot defend this content to our listeners. What a misunderstanding of Pacifica's purpose these words display. Management is not there to defend content. It is there to defend the right of content to be heard, especially if that content is unpopular and has been given little or no attention by mainstream media. Thank you. Can we have the next speaker in line? Where's Carol? Well, my name is Chuck Millar. I'm a long-time listener to KPFA. And I want to thank you guys for keeping the radio station going as long as it has. I've always appreciated that KPFA was a major voice against the war, a voice for peace. However, I want to say that, and I'm speaking in support of Bonnie Faulkner, because uh, her program is the only one that focused on 9-11. And I consider that an absolute key issue for peace. As many of you, well, let me just say, most Americans don't even know that there was a third building that went down in the World Trade Center. It was not hit by an airplane. Building 7 was about a block away from the two towers. It went down at 5.20 that day at near free fall speed, about seven seconds. You should take the time to look at the videotape of that thing. It was only shown on 9-11. The media never showed it later. KPFA is part of that media. The American people need to know about that. All you need to do is watch that thing go down a few times, and you know that the official story is bullshit. The official story is what all the wars have been based on. Bring Bonnie back. Hi, I'm Vic Sudo. Um, I know there's many uh, uh, meetings like this that actually are on YouTube, so there seems to be an inconsistency there of when you allow the public to see what you're doing and when you don't. 
Uh, it's reasonable to require all programs to state a disclaimer. Uh, if that wasn't done, I think that probably should be done, especially any controversial subject. But it's not reasonable to cancel a 17-year program that's there to challenge our perspectives with alternative and diverse speakers. Basic questions about current and historic events need to be investigated, especially 9-11. So it's not right to wipe out the archives of a popular KPFA show that's been a good fundraiser. I'm against guilt by association and weaponized terminology meant to defame the character and reputation of Bonnie Faulkner. During a nationwide censorship purge of left programs under cover of getting Alex Jones, uh, people like Scott Creighton of American Everyman, uh, WordPress and YouTube channels have been canceled. He had a 9-11 section 11 years of writing about 9-11, gone. WordPress did that. So I call on uh, the board and uh, the management to uh, have Guns and Butter reinstated, to have Guns and Butter archives restored, and to use dialogue and disclaimers. Thank you very much. Thank you. And the next person, we have a next, a next speaker. I'm Ann Garrison, a weekend news reporter. And I really want to ask you, do you really want to go on record as opposing a resolution in support of Julian Assange? And if you push it back to the end of the agenda as old business, it's the same as voting against it because you know you're not going to get to that. Last week, I was on the YouTube vigil for Julian Assange. This is something that now happens once a month. It's organized by some of his supporters in Australia and New Zealand. This time we had a tag team format where one person interviewed the next person and then that person interviewed the next. And I happened to be b before Daniel Ellsberg. So he heard me say that KPFA is resisting this resolution. And he said he was shocked. I asked him, would he help us? And he did. He endorsed the resolution, as did Joe Loria, the editor of Consortium News, and Michael Parenti. You all know who Michael Parenti is. They asked me to be on this vigil because I've written a number of pieces about Assange and used... Thank you. Next speaker. I'm Marianne Thomas here as an individual, uh, not as a cab member. Um, and my opinion around the Guns and Butter and Bonnie Faulkner issue is that um, having been a 9-11 truther for a very long time and feeling that KPFA is one of the few places where 9-11 has really been discussed and Bonnie's show it is the one that discussed, discussed it most frequently. Um, I really wish that she could be kept on, perhaps with a disclaimer, saying that her opinions are not the opinions of the station, because if it, as I heard someone say, the station really is not supposed to have opinions. They're supposed to allow voices. I don't agree with all of Bonnie's um, discussions, and I personally wish she would have a disclaimer herself, but as it is, I really would like to see the show continue, and I really, really hope that um, KPFA does not lose its, its cutting edge addressing things that are really controversial, and I certainly don't understand the discussion about Julian Assange, so I'm going to listen carefully. Thank you. We have a next speaker. My name is Nancy Delaney, and I was a programmer. Can you hear? Um, I became a listener in 1966 and have continued throughout. Um, I have been so amazed at the fact that we have an informed democracy to the extent that we do because of this station in this Bay Area. It is a lot of why the Bay Area is as it is. And um, an informed democracy for me, um, learning from the station about what it can be, includes Bonnie Faulkner, because she finds people who are 
like Michel Chosodovsky, a professor up in Canada, who he's taught me so much, his clarity. I mean, she finds people nobody else finds, nobody bothers to find, and we need her. And I do remind you that the history of the station, there were people who were on both sides of an issue early in, in the tradition of KPFA. We do have a mission, but we need to have the information, and Bonnie gets it where nobody else does. Um, I'd also favor Julian Assange, to have Julian Assange um, on our air. I think that um, we need to stand clearly in favor that the American people need the information. We need it all the way around. We need all the information, need to hear from everyone, and any one particular sector doesn't get to silence any other. Thank you. We have Mic check. Mic check. Mic check, anybody we here? Hear you. Mic, check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. I support Julian Assange. That's what you do. You mic check. I support Julian Assange. Everybody say. Support Julian. He's a revolutionary and a fighter for the working class and a great ally. Black and brown lives should matter. They don't matter this second. Hear the children. What kind of pie? Occupy. Julian Assange is a brave and heroic. Julian Assange is a brave and heroic fighter. Julian Assange is a brave and heroic fighter. Because of him, our future, our working class future is a lot brighter. It's that same old dirty, rotten capitalist game, and KPFA should fight that game. That's KPFA should fight that game. Thank you. Next speaker. My name is Scott Page, and I first heard of KPFA in 1975 when the station had the courage to read Philip Agee's Inside the Company for a complete week. And uh, it really changed my whole political structure. I didn't know anything about what was going on. And I say, you know, can't we give one show one hour a week to, to do the same? T to me, it's disgraceful. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next uh, speaker. Hello, uh, my name is Daniel Borgstrom. Um, this is about Assange. It's about guns and butter. Uh, let me tell you something. Um, I've said this a dozen times, but I'll say it again. Uh, I, when I was young, I joined the Marine Corps. People asked me why I joined the Marine Corps, because there was no KPFA, no other opinions. Anything that uh, was taboo was censored out. That was the world I grew up in. And that's the world we're heading back to right now. Uh, here, um, I should say, I was in the Marine Corps during uh, Bay of Pigs. If it hadn't been for JFK, um, I would have probably been sent. And uh, JFK, he paid for it with his life, and uh, Bonnie talks about that. Now, what can we do? There's a group, uh, Rescue Pacifica. I mean, there's a, and you know there's an election coming up. There's this group, Rescue Pacifica, that's, gonna, um, that's putting together a slate. I promise to be on it, and I'm asking people to join me on this slate and to work for this. Um, I'll pass out a, here's a sign-up sheet. I'll pass it around. To, thank you very much. Thank you. Do we have another speaker? Hi, my name is Tricia Beretta, retired for many years as research coordinator and editor of Project Censored. Um, I strongly support the resolution that, that Steve has presented. I wish we could present it. Um, it it's a, really, I feel strongly about all points. Um, KPFA was founded as an alternative to the dominant establishment narrative and indoctrination. 
and um, I would just wonder what Lou Hill would make of the censorship that's now occurring of Bonnie Faulkner and the censorship of the revelations of WikiLeaks and, WikiLeaks and the persecution of Julian Assange um, in the name of KPFA, Free Speech Radio. More and more, I have, I have to check my dial, make sure that it's really on KPFA and not NPR or another corporate-funded propaganda outlet. We can go anywhere for the endless anti-Russia scapegoating and DNC establishment indoctrination and censorship. We do not need KPFA for this. We support KPFA as a free forum of information and intelligent alternative analysis, a means to expose and ponder difficult realities, not to censor them, a means of opening and expanding, expanding our minds, not to close them. So who at KPFA is deciding okay. the parameters thank of you. our Time. political thought and... and uh, is, thank you. Thank you very much. Do we have another speaker? Hello. Um, my name is Bill Gibbons. Um, I'm from the North Bay. Um, what we need on KPFA is radical programming and I'm concerned with the content uh, that's recently been, been on uh, KPFA, especially with the censoring of Bonnie Faulkner. Um, uh, Alex Jones, Bonnie Faulkner, Abby Martin, and others have been censored in recent weeks across the board in media. Spend your time well. Thank, thank you. Go ahead. There's a, a concerned, uh, uh, There's a, a program by the powers that be to censor radical voices, um, and I'm worried about the PBSization of the content on KPFA, which in the past has been a wonderful voice. Um, um, we have to suffer through uh, mainstream uh, false stories like Russia Gate or a, an endless promotion of the Democratic Party, uh, which uh, shouldn't be on KPFA. Um, there should be a concentrated effort to help save Julian Assange's life. He's being tortured, uh, and um, he's one of the most important voices there's ever been in the history of journalism. Bonnie Faulkner should be given due process, reinstated, and certainly her archive should be reinstated too. And the type of programs that I support is uh, Bonnie Faulkner. Okay, thank you. Hello. Uh, my name's Kathy Rogers. I live in Walnut Creek. I've been listening to KPFA for years. I I will do anything not to speak in public for me to be standing up here with a microphone. Uh, I, anyway, I'm here for Bonnie Faulkner. I, am, I was shocked when she told me that her, she's been banned from KPFA. She's been the voice of light and reason and uh, truth. And for her archives to be taken down, I'm, I have been thinking that KPFA has been sounding more and more like NPR, and now I'm sure of it. Um, um, I give hundreds of dollars to KPFA every year, and uh, I, I sadly I'm going to I'm going to have to stop that, and I'm I'm sad to say I'm sad about that. So, please reinstate Bonnie Faulkner. Hi, I'm Gil. The fourth estate. I'm sorry. The fourth estate is essential to democracy. Of course, corporations now own most media, so we can't expect honesty from them, sadly. So we are much more reliant on non-corporate owned media for truth. WikiLeaks has done its part, more than its part for years. KPFA needs to do its part by programming supporters of WikiLeaks and Julian Assange. If journalists don't stand up for free speech, what chance do we have of saving our democracy? Uh, 
I'm the last one, so you guys can uh, move on right after me, and I'll be brief. My name's Chris. Um, I'm also coming in support of Julian Assange and um, Bonnie Faulkner. And I guess what I want to say is that obviously you guys have the power, you have the choice to do what you want in, regarding these two people and their voices. Um, but I do want to say that if, if you're not going to have them, if you're going to delete the archives, not have Bonnie, um, then you should not be calling yourselves Free Speech Radio. So that's all I want to say. You guys have the choice. Oh, I'm saying basically if you're, if you're not going to allow Bonnie Faulkner, you're going to delete her archives, um, then you cannot call yourselves Free Speech Radio. Okay, very simple. Do what you want, but be careful how you market yourselves. Um, hope you make the right choice. Thank you very much for what you do do. Okay, thank you very much. We appreciate the public showing up to, to say their mind, to speak their mind, and it's good to see so many people here today. We hope that our other meetings will have good attendance as well, because we do want to hear from people. Um, I will go into the general manager's report now.